time speaking about this issue because you know what, there's so very few of us. I mean, there's a lot of people out there fighting the drug war, but there's not too many fighting the war against horrors. And I use the word horror not because it's a bad word, because actually what it originally meant was a beloved one. And so when anybody calls me a whore, I say, well, thank you for noticing. That's exactly what my husband said. <laughs> <laughs> Husband, yes. For those of you who don't know me, I've been with my husband for 36 years. He's now disabled. I'm his caregiver. Uh, he's at home, so I can't stay for the whole conference. I have to go back home and take care of him because he is my only one. So I guess he's my whore, huh? Anyway, okay. So what I'm going to do is a lot. Of, I'm going to talk about what my personal experience was and why this is such an important issue to me. It's not just about prostitution. It's about my body. It's about only my life. It's about what I get to do with it as an adult in the United States. Now, I have to tell you, um, despite the fact that I was a prostitute, I never, ever used drugs, ever. The only thing that I'm addicted to is Macintosh computers. I am a Mac guy. I admit it. I try to get over my addiction, but I can't. So I have lots of, lots of maps at my house. If you came to my house, you'd think I was insane. Um, but people have so many misconceptions about what prostitution is, and I'm not here to tell you what prostitution is. I'm sure you probably know it isn't sex or not. And I can give sex away, and nobody cares, and nobody wants to throw me in jail. But the minute that somebody puts a dollar down, Harder and harder to look the other way at what I was seeing within the LAPD. 